Hello again everybody, Elric Ferris, Editor-in-Chief from Motherboards.org. Welcome once again to our YouTube channel. Well, the highly anticipated wait is over. The new NVIDIA 480 card has finally hit the market. Follow along right now as we show you the specification and pricing of this new card. Okay, so here we go. The GeForce GTX 480 Review Part 1. Pricing, features, and specs. Currently, this card is supposed to hit the market at around $499 US. This is a little bit higher than the ATI solution at the moment, but the manufacturers may charge less and prices will vary. The GeForce GTX 480 is designed for maximum gaming performance and for the high-end gamer. This card has been redesigned completely from the ground up and has doubled the number of ROPs as its previous generation cards. Some of the new revolutionary architecture is the new GigaThread engine, which reduces context switch time to approximately 20 microseconds. You can really see how efficient this new GigaThread engine is in the example below. Multi-monitor support, ATI had it, now NVIDIA has it. 3D Vision Surround is here. The only difference between this and ATI cards is with this you need two cards, and ATI cards you only need one. Okay, here we show you some comparative specs comparing the GTX 285 to the new GTX 480. As you can see, the card has been vastly improved. Take a look at the memory interface. Even though the new card has less actual overall memory, it's faster being GDDR5 versus GDDR3. Okay, now that we've showed you all the basic specs, let's take a look at this sexy, sleek new card. As you can see, it's completely black. Black is beautiful, baby. And this card is basically the NVIDIA reference design, so it's just gonna have the, the standard fan with the thing. Ooh, nice heat pipes there. We're coming up to the power consumption. Here we've got a standard eight and a standard six pin power connector. Most power supplies have these now. Um, the big difference you're gonna see in these cards is gonna be a sticker, that's about it. There's a mini HDMI and two DVI connectors on the rear I.O. Hey there, thanks for watching. So don't you be a goober and not watch part two of this review, so come on back, you hear?